Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at International Telecoms Week with my friend Nigel Bailiff. He is the CEO of Aquacoms. Nigel, thank Hi, you for joining us here on JSA TV. No problem. No, very pleased to be here. Now, when you're talking Aquacoms, it's yeah. really two separate networks. We've got AE Connect and then the Celtics Connect. That's, yeah, that's right. Right now, we have uh, two cables, which we combine to make one network. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're um, planning on adding two further cables this year. Oh. So we'll be, you know, the, the entire network is designed to carry traffic from North America to Europe. And the more dense we can get connected into the European uh, mainland, uh, the better. So we're building a couple of cables, a second Celtics Connect, which uh, will just take a diverse route to get our customers' traffic over onto mainland of the UK, and then from the northeast of the UK over to Denmark, which is uh, actually a hotspot for um, you know internet connectivity and uh, and data centers. It sure is. So, what makes these uh, cables really unique to the marketplace? Well, I think um, the Atlantic, if you if you know the Atlantic market for submarine telecoms, then it had it's had a very strange history. So around about 15, 16, 17 years ago, there were seven or eight cables all built at the same time. And this was the dot-com boom time. So there was a uh, disruption in the market. A lot of cables came onto the market at much reduced rates because through bankruptcy and... Uh, and uh, low price acquisitions, they disrupted the pricing model. And what that meant is no cable has been built across the Atlantic for about the last 15 years until Aquacoms, Hibernia Express, and uh, now recently Marea came along. And uh, so the model around the rest of the world is typically every, every five years, two new cables to meet up with the demand. The Atlantic is the busiest market in the world. And so we've seen nothing for 17 years and now three very, very high capacity cables, 180, 190 terabits of capacity, which is almost enough to co carry all of the capacity of all of the older cables. So the high, the high tech nature of these cables, the, the fact that we've spread them around across the Atlantic basin, you've now got one landing in Ireland, one landing in the UK, one landing in Spain, and potentially one landing over the top into Scandinavia, means that you have this diverse path of connectivity between the big powerhouse economic and areas of uh, North America and uh, Northern Europe. Yes. So uh, looking at that, uh, well, not landscape, seascape. Yeah, yeah seascape, <laughs> oceanscape. Uh, and you mentioned Marea, yeah. uh, which is Microsoft, Facebook's uh, yeah. joint uh, uh, cable. What type of network operators uh, are attracted to these networks? Exactly those guys. So, you know, we have uh, Facebook, Microsoft, um, and, and all of the other, you know, s um, uh, internet content players and the tiers below that, the tiers two and three in that space, and the carriers. So we, we run a model of, a, of a precisely a carrier's carrier. Mm. It's, you know, we supply services to people who take those services and, and, and add them on to endpoints or take them to end user customers. We don't, you know, play in IP services. We don't play in the packet networks. We simply provide connectivity b across uh, the oceans between two continents. We put our capital into the water, and then look at twenty or thirty year returns on that. So, um, the the people who are facilitating or 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 defining where the new connectivity goes are indeed those big players, the big five uh, internet content players. And uh, you know, Marea, as you mentioned, I mean, that's actually. Telexius, you know, Telefonica's uh, uh, capital ownership arm. Right. You know, Hibernia is now owned by, um, GTT. Uh, by GTT. Um, and we're actually a bit unusual because we're the only independent. So we're the only ones owned purely by, you know, capital funds, long-term infrastructure funds, which means if we talk to people dense inside Europe, uh, you know, metro network providers, it's kind of a, an easier conversation because we're not trying to do the same thing as them. We're not trying to sell to enterprises in Dusseldorf were just carrying them across the ocean. So we have a kind of clean relationship with all the whole market, really. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice sort of neutral yeah. zone to be yeah. playing from, yeah. yeah. So I like to ask this question when I have CEOs such like yourself okay. sitting in my little hot seat over here, okay. looking into your crystal ball. What do you see uh, going on in the next year for Aquacoms? Well, I mean, the, we've announced that we're going to build Celtics Connect 2 and, um, and North Sea Connect. I think that furthering that entire push into densely connecting the end of this enormous cable that comes into Ireland 
down into mainland Europe in several ways to get diversity and resilience for the customers that trust us to carry their services across the Atlantic, along with stuff over on the uh, on the eastern seaboard, you know, trying to potentially um, position our cable in some of the more neutral carrier data centers, 1025 Connect, NJFX, to not necessarily to avoid Manhattan, because Manhattan's a place where we will deliver some traffic too, but it's really to try and uh, make a mesh with all the other cables, provide resilience, provide connectivity, and um, and, uh, and just enhance the endpoints of our cable. Well, I'm sure uh, Dan and Gil, uh, yeah. respectively, would be very excited to hear this. No, no, no. Um, and, uh, and many of us, uh, especially along the East Coast, mm -hmm. very exciting news. So for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? They can go to our website, www.aquacoms.com. Lots of uh, good information there, resources. We're a very open company. You know, We'll tell you everything that we're doing. We'll tell you about our performance and good or bad. And uh, and we'll you know be happy to carry you from North America to to Europe. Well, thank you, Nigel, for joining us and being so gracious with your time and insight. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.